it's pretty ironic really isn't it that I've come back to Istanbul uh, second time in the year never been here before flew in over the bridge that you just saw from that little souvenir behind me from the souvenir shop I could be in any airport couldn't I but I'm actually in Istanbul again just flew over the city where the great success happened in the Champions League final so many happy memories and this is the stop en route to Jeddah for the Club World Cup well, semi-final initially, hopefully the final as well, later in the week. And uh, quite a journey, uh, both literally and metaphorically, to take me to where City are right now in Jeddah, although I'm not quite there yet, for the Club World Cup final. Mm. And we're going to meet on this trip, what we're going to see. Well, it's not Mickey Mouse, is it? It probably isn't if you're not in it, but like, you've got to win the, uh, the European Cup to get into this competition, so it's worth we're here, we may as well win it. Then we are really the champions of the world. It's Best ironic team. that we had to come by Istanbul to get here again. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, it is, definitely. Um, yeah, we were just saying it's a bit colder than it was last time we came in June, but uh, yeah, we're looking forward to getting to Jeddah, see what it's all about. I mean, we didn't, I didn't go to the World Cup in Qatar, but um, it should be an experience anyway. That's why we said we may as well come to Saudi. We didn't do Belgrade last week, but we'll come to Saudi this week. So. I've got to admit, before the Crystal Palace game, I was quite chilled about this and thought we'll probably win it. And after that, I've now sort of got a few doubts again. Well, it was good that uh, Itihad, the local team, they went out with Benzema because you could have seen him get it in a winner. And it'd be typical City, wouldn't it, to get it all this way to a final and get beat in, like, say, a Mickey Mouse competition when we could literally be. Like the song says, the best team in the land and all the world, which is hoping what we're going to be. So they're going to win then? Fingers crossed. But it's City, isn't it? I mean, we were winning 2-0 the other day and a pet team should never lose 2-0 up. But we did. Well, we didn't lose, but we, we, we drew. You know, to throw away them points, just scandalous, scandalous. Well, this competition, I, I, like I just said there, I think it's going to be the, like the Champions League in a few years. I, well, not a few years, but, you know, 10, 30 years down the line, it's going to be like the Champions League. Like I just said to you, Real Madrid won the Champions League five times in a row and they only beat two teams to win it. And they're doing the same thing now with this comp and I think it will end up like the Champions League. So when we when we won the Champions League, I said to Dad, you know, get them tickets put to wherever the Club World Cup is because I want to see us, uh, if we do win it, become uh, world champions, you know, because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. And if we do win it, I can say I've seen City win everything and I never thought I'd see him win the FA Cup, never mind uh, never mind anything like this and the uh, Champions League. And uh, yeah, so that, that's why I wanted to come and I basically said to my dad, look, we've got no option but to go. Uh, and with it being the first, it'll be special if we do win it, but it will be typical City that we don't win it and we have to come back and uh, do it again. So well, The next one's that summer one in 2025. Yeah. I know you go to a lot of the games, if not all of them. Yeah. Will you go to that as well? Um, I'd have to think about it at the time because I do love America but uh, like we just said there I think the, the more worldwide it gets I think the harder it is to go each and every game um, but it's all dependent on money and you know being able to get off work I mean I work for an American company so I, sh I might be able to swindle it somehow but um, but yeah may maybe I will maybe I won't but if we do win this competition it'll be very hard to say yeah we're looking forward to going and I hope we do it get another trophy so that what it's all about this must be putting a strain on your finances and your time and you don't worry about the money you don't worry about the time it's all about drains and winning trophies that's what it's all about this is the first as well that makes it special doesn't it it certainly does and plus my age i've got to worry about that as well how long have you been going then since 1967 never thought you'd see this did you no definitely not let's hope they win it so what they do. Well, it's certainly hot here and it's a match day, it's the semi-final uh, tonight, so we'll see if City progress through to Fluminense, the Brazilian champions and the champions of South America who won their 
uh, semi-final yesterday and I've been speaking to an Egyptian fan, a fan of the team that Fluminense beat to qualify for the final, uh, which of course is on Friday. And here's what he had to say. And by the way, this is the area around my hotel. It is baking hot here, I have to say. That's the hotel. And uh, I'm yet to explore Jeddah. But um, let's see what he's got to say, eh? I'm Saeed Chaben from Egypt. Uh, I'm support uh, El Ahli, the best club in Africa. And you played against Fluminese yes. was that in the, the first of the two semi-finals. Yes. Uh, obviously, City could play them in the uh, the other the, in the final now. If they win tonight. Are, are they any good? Do you think City will win? Uh, I'm sure uh, Manchester City will win uh, because uh, Fluminense um, okay, but uh, good uh, team, but uh, it's not dangerous. Uh, because uh, the ages of uh, his player is high, and uh, we uh, we played uh, against them yesterday. Uh, it was easy game, but uh, we have uh, no luck. Uh, many chances yeah, we lose. Uh, our players m maybe uh, have off day, um, so we we lose the game. Saudi Arabia is a good country and uh, they make uh, big things uh, because they uh, bring uh, the most famous players in the world. Uh, they make a marketing for uh, them country and uh, them competition. Uh, but I don't like um, any, I don't, I don't, I don't like like you no know, Mohammed Salah play in Saudi Arabia. I want Mohammed Salah uh, uh, continue in England, uh, the most famous league in the world, uh, Premier League, uh, the best one in the world. So do you think City will win this competition? City will win. Uh, I hope and I wish. Uh, I love Manchester City. I'm fan of uh, Manchester City. Uh, so I I hope uh, win, inshallah. The weather's nice. Look forward to the game later, and hopefully, can come back on on Friday. Thanks for negotiating the Saudi problems I've been having with phones, etc. <laughs> what, what, what do you think of the game? I mean, are you expecting City to go on and win this? I'd I'd like to think they're the massive favourites, aren't they? You've you've, you've got to think they're going to go and, and win comfortably. But this is City after all. Um, I, th I think tonight should be pretty straightforward and then the, the final a little bit trickier but I I I'd like to think they'll be comfortable tonight. Maybe we'll see Kevin De Bruyne back. I hope not. No, no. Just save him for the Premier League. Don't don't want what happened at Burnley. S save him. Maybe a few minutes at the end. Give him a bit of a run out but um, save him for the Prem. Bad news for everyone else. Certainly nice to get you in the mood for the game tonight by watching a lovely sunset here in Jeddah. Nice beach.
tie in with us. Tie in with us. Yeah. In third gear. We knew, I said to the blog next to me, not him, they were going to score now. And they scored within a minute because they were just tiring them out. And it was back side to side. And eventually they ran out of steam and we scored. What have you made of the whole experience here? We've really enjoyed the people are really keen you know, to be friendly to you because they obviously want the World Cup in the future. Uh, but we think that there's, there's no, like, infrastructure, there's no, you know, no brand or anything. You've got to hire taxes if you want to get anywhere. You'd be surprised that the ground's only half full. Yeah, but last night, the Egyptian team was playing. So all the fans were there for the Egyptian team. But the final at this one. quite entertaining yeah rather a warm night but it was a pretty good performance pretty solid yeah. oh you know it's great yeah great to see like the Saudi lads get involved with some of the city fans who've come over from uh, from the UK we're staying in a couple of days for the final obviously we're staying till Saturday yeah and then we're all going different ways I'm going back to Vancouver we, we've got to stay a bit longer just to see if Grealish gets any better <laughs> I think you might be waiting a while for that well it wasn't his best game was it but other than that, good performance. Yeah. You're going to win it? Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. No, I've seen everyone, other locals have been very friendly. Yeah, we had a pretty good time today. Uh, we're not really missing the beer. Uh, Thursday, we're actually going out to Medina on the train, on the high speed train, so we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Oh, it's good. I live in Abu Dhabi, so it's a nice trip. Back, forward, come back on Friday, go to the final. We're good. Nice they win this and they can call themselves world champions. Uh, well, we will be the best team in all the land and all the world, will we? Got to change. And it's good. Uh, it's good to see that uh, everybody's uh, everybody's taking on the blue shirt. We got we got lots of lots of new supporters. Shows how, how big the club is now. Great, brilliant atmosphere. Uh, Great place to be, 25 years, I'm from York, I was at York uh, in the good old days, um, yeah, into the final, I've, I've been to, I was at the Arsenal game, I live in the Middle East, I was at the Arsenal game at home, I flew back for the cup final, I flew to Istanbul, I've been to Athens, it'd be nice to round off the season, uh, that season, with a winning this, this, uh, this on Friday. What do you make of the atmosphere tonight in Saudi Arabia generally? Brilliant, just on the walk in, so welcoming. As soon as you see City Talk, everyone saying welcome, welcome. There's a fan zone was brilliant, music and liveliness. Yeah, really good, really good. And the stadiums, I was surprised by the quality of the stadium. Uh, it looks amazing from the outside and they're yeah, really good. I'm expecting it to be full out on Friday, day off in the Middle East. 
uh, Friday, our taxi driver on the way in, he said, I'm taking my son. So the enthusiasm of not just the city fans who travel, but the, everyone here, the enthusiasm has been brilliant. Uh, uh, really, really, really welcoming. Really welcoming. Very central up round uh, Cheddar before the Friday final. Yeah, quite a few of the Blues have said they're going to go have a look uh, at the Cornies. So the seafront onto the Red Sea. So yeah, and, uh, we, we passed on the way in as well some fan zones, some bigger fan zones. So maybe uh, maybe go and have a uh, check them out. I saw the, the city team who we saw in Athens, the social media, they'll be wandering around. So they're usually in the fan zones. So yeah, go have a look around. Uh, oh, really great, looking forward to it. Great being a blue, isn't it? Amazing, amazing. My, my dad, my dad passed in 2015. Uh, got to see them win a Premiership, um, and he, he always used to joke. I followed him through thin and thin. Uh, but yeah, now it's uh, so really it was worth it. I was born 75, won the League Cup 76. Nothing for 34 years, and then uh, stuck through it. Now, 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 perfect, perfect. And, and, Another generation of blues that can enjoy it as well. Oh. So that's part one. Uh, obviously, City have got to win the game now on Friday to be Grand World Champions, but that's part one, and it is great being a blue. And uh, thanks very much to AMR Development UK for helping out with this particular trip. And thanks for you for watching. It's always uh, great to know that you care about these types of vlogs that give you a little bit of a flavour of the games. While I'm here, I'll try and give you a bit of a flavour of a camp of Cheddar, and then of course, on Friday, the vlog. See you then. Great being a blue, isn't it?